So it's the next day. The spray paint has actually dried up pretty good. Everything's nice. So we're ready to go ahead and actually put together my test bench and what we're gonna be using and doing. So um, for my test bench, I just needed something just simple to test parts. If I need to flash some BIOS, some video card BIOS, testing computer components. I build a lot of computers and I like to test parts before I put it on there and I just wanted something that I could swap around in case I have anything faulty, nothing just fancy. So when I was on eBay, I was looking for broken motherboards and I found this one and this actually works and I paid $10 for this Asus H110M-C. I paid $10 because the yellow piece over here or pink actually, the pink piece over here is actually broken off and well, we sold it for 10 and I won the auction for 10 and this thing is brand spanking new. Even comes with the plate, has a new opener or anything but because this piece is broken, it was 10 bucks. Okay, works for me. So for the CPU, like I said, it's just a test bench. Didn't want anything fancy. Just wanted something to turn on and boot. Maybe in the future we'll get something a little more beefed up. Hopefully, did they really wrap this and seal this this way? Yep, they sure did. Okay, well hopefully this is okay. Uh, for the CPU, I just went with an i3 6100. I don't know if that's gonna show in there. Dual, uh, dual core. 3.7 gigs, so I just went with that. Ain't going nothing fancy. Uh, my memory, which I left in the other room, which I'll have to go grab it, is gonna be that G Skill DDR20, uh, DDR4-2133. Um, I just went with 8 gig kit this time. Uh, video card, I'm not sure what this video card is. I just know it has one gig of RAM, so well, Pop it in and see which one it is. I had this lying around and my dad found it and brought it, so we'll find out what it is. For my CPU cooler, going with this thermal take one, They're like eight, nine dollars on Amazon, so I figured why not give it a shot. And I'm actually might do a separate review on this one just to compare it to the stock Intel ones because this just costs as much as that, and I'm curious to see if it runs any better or worse. So that's what we're going to be doing for the test bench. Um, of course, my inland professional 120 gig SSDs, I've been using these left and right, have not had any issues with them, they work great. So yeah, that's going to be what our test bench is going to consist of, so let's go ahead, um, do a little time lapse I guess, maybe, we'll see, yeah, do a little time lapse, and let's assemble this thing and see how it comes out.
Test patch is done and let's fire it up. As you can see, everything's working. Got all my cables coming out through the hole I made over here through the back, kind of fed them over here to kind of clean them up. So definitely happily with the way it came out. One thing I do enjoy is this little power button that I got. I mean, real simple, what, five, eight dollars on Amazon. Just thread it in, goes into your normal power thing over there. So we don't have to short out the pins or do anything external. So very happy with how this test bench game came out. As you can see, everything's working. I already got a graphics card on the bench that I'm working on for another project I got coming up. So stay tuned for that. But all in all, this was a real easy project. Grinding, little cutting, little drills. And I probably spend about 15, maybe $20 on this test bench. I mean, it's better than spending $100, $200 on it. Like I said, I've seen cheaper ones for maybe $60, but all in all, definitely happy with how this came out. I like the portability factor, so once I'm done with it, I could just lift it up, take it away, put it up somewhere else, and then I'm done and I'm ready to work on my next project. So real simple, easy, quick build, uh, budget-friendly, budget-minded, and that's what I'm all about. Just trying to save a couple of dollars We're trying to do some work. So... Um, let me get your input on what you think about this test bench. Post comments down below. Let me know what you like, didn't like, improvements, things that you think I could have done better or things that you would recommend to help make it better. I mean, what, maybe do some RGB on it? I don't know. But all in all, very happy with how it came out. I might end up going with a, a whatchamacallit, a modular power supply in the future. And if I would have done something a little more different, I probably would have cut my holes a little better and just kind of planned it out. But this was on a whim. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see what we come up with next.